Time now for the OTR pop quiz, and let's just take the questions out because since you are from Whitman, we are we are, which is the home of the Toll House Cookie, and you even played a role in restoring the famous Toll House sign, did you not? I did. Okay, so you sh you're you're familiar. Have you eaten a Toll House cookie, by the way? How can you? Yes. Okay, I'm just it's saying. It's a state I, official okay. cookie. No, of course I'm just I've saying. Had it. So as legend has it, running out of this particular ingredient led to the creation of the famous treat. Was it brown sugar? Was it nuts or vanilla extract? Oh, I get to look at the uh, yeah, pick the one, options, pick one. so this is fantastic. Brown uh, sugar, nuts, or vanilla extract? Oh, I'm going to say nuts. Yeah, that's what it was. Ruth Wakefield substituted chocolate pieces for nuts, and bingo. If I can just throw my two cents in, Nestle was the first to provide her chopped up bits of chocolate, though. That was unique at the time. At you this. had to chop it up yourself. You're, you're a Toll House aficionado. <laughs> I got the book, the, her actual recipe book. <laughs> you are a graduate of Lehigh University in Pennsylvania, as we mentioned. So this, this, there is a well-known cable personality that is as well. So are we talking about Dana Perino, Nicole Wallace, or Michael Schmirkanish? It is Michael Smirkanish. Yes, I, I believe Michael he's from Smirkanish Pennsylvania voice. too, so which adds to it. He and I actually did a uh, tribute to one of our professors, Dave Amidon, a fantastic Oh, really? Did you? Lehigh, and, uh, you he go. and I were co-workers on that little tribute film. Calvin Coolidge, who's a Republican governor of Massachusetts, was also the 30th president of the United States. From New was, Hampshire. He was the only president who was, A, born in oh, here Vermont, we go. B, born on the 4th of July, or C, ambidextrous. You know what? Now that you say Vermont, was he born in Vermont? I'm going to say born in Vermont. Maybe it wasn't New Hampshire. Well, you know what? That's exactly what I thought it was. But no, he was born on the 4th of July. There are two presidents born in Vermont. Coolidge was born in Vermont. Chester Arthur was born in Vermont. By the way, Gerald Ford and Ronald Reagan were ambidextrous. This I, I did not know. I did not know that. All right. So, since we just mentioned Ronald Reagan, let's finish up with the Ronald Reagan movie question. This is a Reagan. Dennis Quaid's going to be doing a. a you know Reagan. all these things, right? Okay. Which one of these following is not a Ronald Reagan movie? Is it Bringing Up Baby? <laughs> is it Hellcats of the Navy or King's Row? Uh, all right, I'm going to say King's Row. The other two seem like they would be you know, right in his wheelhouse. It is Bringing Up Baby, <laughs> starring Cary Grant. I thought there was one that had not a monkey in it, and maybe that was the one. Well, there you go. <laughs> You're off the hot seat. Very good. I think the last one was the last one. I, that was the only one I knew about. Anyways, back to uh, more serious questions. Right. Uh, there's chaos, as you know, in the state GOP right now. Republicans with deep pockets are saying they're going to hold back on donations unless the party chairman, Jim Lyons, is ousted. Uh, there's also been multiple charges from the media and some party members using the word insane to describe Lyons. What's your take on it? Do you think Jim Lyons is doing a good job? Should he remain chairman? Yeah, I served with Jim in the legislature for eight years. I know what he's all about, trying to make the mass GOP more focused on helping candidates that are down ticket. Typically, they've been, the mass GOP focuses on top of the ticket, presidential campaigns, governor's campaigns, and most everybody else is kind of left in the wake. So, you know, to me right now, what's going on within the Massachusetts Republican Party is soul searching. Which direction do they want to go in? And truthfully, we haven't seen a lot of leadership from Governor Baker or Karen Polito with the mass GOP. And I think that's led to a lot of uh, factions in there, you know, not necessarily guiding in the right direction. So I think Jim has come in and tried to take the helm and get it more focused on the long-term building of the bench. And so you support candidates. him staying? I do. And you think that he's doing a good job and that his um, inability to bring some of the more moderate members of the party into the party is not important? Oh, no, I think actually there are good moderate uh, candidates that are out there and running. I think that they just get obscured by the media that wants to talk about the top level sort of, uh, you know, things that make the news all the time. The fact is, by the way, on those donors, most of them, in fact, I think only one or two ever gave to the mass GOP. And uh, most of them, or some of them at least, give to Democrats on a pretty regular basis. So for them to try to weigh in and say that they're going to give a million dollars to the mass GOP if Jim mm -hmm. is out, mm -hmm. kind of rings hollow with a lot of the members. It's just out of curious in the, in the few seconds we have left. What, what's your gut reaction with the governor? Do you think he is going to run for a third term? <laughs> I mean, just your gut reaction. It's a year away. I understand a lot can happen in a year. Look, I, it's hard to read the mind of uh, Charlie Baker for sure, especially uh, you know coming from a Republican perspective. But uh, whether he, he's in or out, you know, I'm looking forward to having that debate with him. And if it's not with him, then with Karen Polito, Jeff. Dillard, if she runs, great to see you. And thank you, Jane. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thanks for joining us. And congratulations on your granddaughter. Oh, thank you very much. And thank you. And congratulations on your new pup. Thank you. <laughs> a puppy, a granddaughter. I got pupkis.